What's up YouTube, this is Joshua Wade here and on today's Just The Tip tutorial I'm going to show you how to print your stems from Easy Drummer 3 inside of Ableton Live. So without further delay, let's get to the point. Alright guys, so here we are inside of Ableton and I've already got Easy Drummer 3 pulled up and you can hear everything is exactly how we want it. And I'm going to go ahead, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the mixer and I'm going to go over here to this mixer and I'm going to hit multi-channel. The first thing you're going to notice is these in or these outs have changed. Uh, this is all a matter of personal preference. So for me, I don't out one and two is going to be this track. It's going to be your MIDI track, right? So what I like to do is I'll go in and I'll customize everything. Like three and four will be kick in. I want five and six to be kick out. I don't really need the kick sub me personally. Again, this is just personal taste. So I don't select that one and then so on and so forth. And you're going to want to change everything up. So five, six was the last one, seven, eight for snare top. And I like my snare top and bottom on separate tracks. So we'll go nine, 10 on that one. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do the kick and the snare. Now, one thing to keep in mind, whenever you do this, you select the multi out and you start changing your outputs. You're probably not going to hear anything from easy drummer. Like if I play this groove, you can't hear anything. That's because you haven't selected the input yet and we're about to do that now so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this groove real quick so we have kind of a reference and I'll just click and drag that there now we can close out of easy drummer and if we come over to logic let me go ahead and get rid of this MIDI track and here is an audio track right so if we select the EXT in we can actually select easy drummer and that will give us an option to select our post mixer so 3-4 is my kick in and I'll do the same thing here and then let me see here, five, six was my kick out. So I wouldn't, you know, go ahead and rename these. So we'll say kick in. And you guys kind of get the idea. I just want to show you how to do this really quick. So we'll select you and then I'll go ahead and select easy drummer again. And then they would be nine, 10 for the snare bottom. So now when I record arm all of these tracks, I'll be able to print it. Like you might not be able to hear this groove. So I'm going to go ahead and select my in so we can hear what's going on. And everything's on its own track. So one thing about Ableton that you'll notice if you try to record arm more than one, um, some of you might know this, but just in case not, you just hold command on Mac and you can select multiples. And we'll start here and we'll go ahead and we'll hit record, make sure my count is not on. It is on, but that's okay. And you can see everything is printing like you want it to. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you got some type of value out of this video. If you did, continued support is greatly appreciated. So if you could hit that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you feel a little antsy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like content such as this, I will have more videos for you in the near future. And remember, it's called music theory, not music fact. Have a good one.